All right, everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a quick look into Algorand, a couple new things we want to talk about. So number one is the new governance model. If you don't currently have the Algo wallet, you're going to want to hear this. Uh, we also have just an easy way to earn 7% interest on your Algo that's going to tie into point one. This 7% could become 33% APR. In the future, you're about to see why. And then we also have just a quick overview of the Algo price and where we think that's going and why we believe that it's currently undervalued. So for those of you that already have the Algo wallet, just go ahead and stick to this timestamp. Um, this part does not apply to you. For those of you that don't have the Algo wallet, this link is going to be in the description. I don't gain anything from this. I'm not affiliated with Algorand. I just personally love the wallet and think it's super easy. Go ahead. You can look at this link, follow it step by step. Most of you probably won't even need to, to be honest, just because it is fairly simple. There's one part about a key phrase, just some terms that you have to write down. That's probably the hardest part of it all. But regardless, you basically, it's going to show you how to send your funds from Coinbase, Crypto.com, wherever. You can transfer it over to Algorand and you are going to see just how fast Algo moves. Don't forget that the block finality is like four seconds or something crazy like that. So you're literally by the time you get the app, those funds are going to be transferred. You're going to see firsthand just how crazy this technology is. I love Algorand. The first time I used the wallet, I was like, holy smokes. No asset that I've used has ever been sent that fast. I was just, I was blown away. I mean, I think you guys are going to start to fall in love with Algorand as you start to use it more. But the important thing is, is that you're earning a higher interest rate than probably what you're staking at right now. You're going to be earning around 7%. There's also a small loophole here for compounding. So it doesn't automatically compound. But if you just go ahead and send zero algo to your address that you have, so you're sending algo from the same address just to itself, just like you're emailing yourself. And then your, your rewards, which you're going to see, there's a rewards tab on the app once you get it. All those rewards are going to be automatically compounded for you. So you can do this whenever you want. I honestly try to do it a couple times a day, but if you do it every week or whatever, that should be more than enough to get you your compound interest. All right, so this is when our Algo wallet viewers are returning. This is the big thing that I personally just found out today, so I'm assuming a lot of you don't know it. But if you scroll way down into the Coinbase rewards, you'll see this thing right here, what's changing with Algo rewards. Uh, so in 2022, Algo is moving to a new rewards model. Algo holders will receive rewards quarterly every three months rather than every day. Uh, so I was a little bit confused here. I was wondering why I hadn't heard about it. Um, and then I went over to the Algorand community. I found out, holy smokes, they're actually changing. They're changing their whole governance model. But what this is going to help is that a lot less people are probably going to be participating in the staking just because they don't want to put in the extra effort to figure out how to do so. Uh, so a lot more people are going to be able to get involved as a governor. And as we know, the Algo wallets, it's super simple. It's not going to be that tough to get involved. Some, some are saying that this reward could be all the way up to 33%. So if you just go in, get the Algo wallet app now, start familiarizing yourself with the tech. By the time we're ready to make that jump into Algorand's governance, uh, into the next stage of the Algorand governance, it's going to be very seamless. Uh, and that's potentially when we're going to just be making a crazy, crazy APR on Algorand. Well, now let's get into the third part of the video. While Algo is doing well, because it, it's, it's so undervalued at number 28. The technology is there. In my opinion, it's kind of like Solana's baby brother in a sense. But what I like to say is that Solana tends to overpromise. It almost feels like they're trying to do too much too early there. Whereas Algorand is really just kind of just kind of laying low, focusing on upgrading what they can while they can, and just kind of laying out the groundwork for the future. So Honestly, I'm not counting out Algorand quite yet. I honestly think that this one is going to be here to stay. Um, it's probably going to end up specializing in just one thing in the future. But like we've mentioned, with interoperability coming, Algorand could easily be a part of the long-term picture, especially considering the fact that it is carbon net negative. So you know what? A lot of things going for Algorand. I think the price has a lot of room to grow here. Uh, and the product itself is just phenomenal. Absolutely love Algo. Definitely going to be one that you guys are going to want to do some more research on. None of this is financial advice, but regardless, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.